Oompa Loompa Doopity Doo. Now this song is stuck in your head too. Hello everyone, today we're taking a quick look at Wonka, directed by Paul King and starring Timothy Chalamet as the titular chocolatier. A young Willy Wonka arrives by boat to the town of... Europe, ready to open his own chocolate shop and seek his fortune. That's easier said than done, as Mr. Wonka is dirt poor, and the rent on a shop ain't gonna pay itself. And his rival chocolatiers have a cartel of sorts going, and they aren't about to let anyone else in on their turf. And on their payroll, they have a corrupt chief of police and a church filled with chocoholic monks. This is a weird town. But while Mr. Wonka gets into a heap of trouble almost immediately after arriving in this town, he does make a few friends who help him realize his dream. Also, there's a giraffe. And a strange little orange man. This was made to be a sort of companion piece to the 1971 film that starred Gene Wilder as Willy Wonka. And it's kind of funny to think about that movie because it really did not do very well at the time. I think it technically made a profit, barely, but almost immediately after release it was forgotten for like 10 years, and now it's considered a beloved classic. But despite what the filmmakers were apparently trying to do, there really isn't that strong of a connection between Wonka and Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, apart from the title character's outfit and a couple of songs, Pure Imagination and Oompa Loompa. This is a very different movie. Chalamet's portrayal of Willy Wonka feels like a completely different character compared to Gene Wilder's version. Uh, a much more likable guy, to be fair, not nearly as much of a psychopath, and it doesn't have much of the weird and scary moments that were present in that classic film. I've seen some people say that tonally this movie is much closer to Paddington, and I would agree, and that totally makes sense given the director. So if you're looking for something that is true to the spirit of the 1971 movie, this is not going to scratch that itch. And as such, I can't really say this is a good Willy Wonka movie. But it is a very good Paul King movie. I enjoyed both Paddington movies very much, and this feels like more of the same, just set in the Willy Wonka universe. It's a lot of fun, it's very charming, it is wholesome as shit, and every member of the cast looked like they were having the time of their lives while making this. The three members of the Chocolate Cartel, played by Patterson, Joseph, Matt Lucas, and Matthew Bainton, are happy to chew the hell out of the scenery and the candy. They are delightfully evil and extremely snooty. They crank the snoot up to 11. We also have Tom Davis and Olivia Coleman as the proprietors of a very shady boarding house. They are also delightfully evil, but in a very different way than the chocolate cartel. They're not snooty evil, they're lower class evil. Cockney evil. Keegan-Michael Key plays the chief of police, who is, oddly enough, not being paid by the cartel in money, but in chocolate. I have no idea how that works, but it has some hilarious results. The leader of the church is Rowan Atkinson, who is really just playing himself. We have Hugh Grant as the Oompa Loompa, who is also very snooty, but not necessarily evil. A bit of a jerk, maybe. And Calla Lane was pretty good as Wonka's child sidekick. She is incredibly talented for someone so young. I think this is only the second movie she's ever done. Sadly, I think the weakest link in the chain is Chalamet, who is playing the title character. He wasn't bad, he was fine, but... This kind of role doesn't really play to his strengths. He's a talented actor, but here he seemed miscast. He does have his moments, especially the sentimental ones, but he doesn't really do zany. And this kind of character needs a lot of zany. There's plenty of imagination on display with Wonka's various wacky chocolate concoctions and the shop he eventually opens in town. It's very bright and colorful and feels like a smaller version of the massive chocolate manufacturing plant that he will eventually get. And that contrasts quite well with the town that is in the midst of a very dreary winter. Like the 1971 film, this is a musical, and the songs are... fine. I did like World of Your Own, I thought that was pretty solid. The rest? They're okay, but nothing particularly memorable. Unfortunately, the best musical moments come from the rehashed songs from the original, and the new ones never quite hit that level. Overall, I don't think it lives up to the movie that they were trying to emulate, but it was a lot of fun and I enjoyed myself very much. I would say it is at least worth a matinee, and if you have kids, they'll eat it up. And that's all I have to say about Wonka. Till next time, take care.